I'm Joyce Fassel, Editor-in-Chief of Pro Food World at PMMI Media Group, here with another Technology Minute. Today I'm speaking with Sharon Nowak, Global Business Development Manager for Coperion's Food and Pharmaceutical Business Unit. Coperion is an international market and technology leader in extrusion systems, feeding technology, bulk materials handling systems, processing equipment, and services. Coperion designs, develops, manufactures, and maintains systems, machines, and components for the food, pharmaceutical, plastics, chemical, and minerals industries. Coperion has 2,500 employees and nearly 40 sales and service companies worldwide. Sharon, just to get started, can you give us a little background on the merger of Coperion and Catron? And how has the organization structured itself to address the very specialized needs of the food industry? Hi, Joyce. Thanks for inviting us to participate in this Technology Minute. As many of your listeners may already be aware, both Coperion and Coperion Catron have a long history of supplying components and systems to the food industry. In fact, our global food customer base represents 97 of the top 100 food and beverage companies. After the merger was complete, the Food and Pharmaceutical Business Unit was purposely created to address the equipment supply and technical needs of the market. This structure allows us to not only provide individual components, but also complete integrated food systems, such as the sample food extrusion line that's depicted here. Our food engineering specialists can supply a wide variety of process applications, including dense and dilute pneumatic material, transfer of bulk materials from trucks or rail cars into the plant, to batch weighing and ingredient transfer options for micros and macro ingredients, as well as batch and continuous feeding and mixing operations, all the way to the complete extrusion process. By providing not only specialized components, but also an integrated system design, Coperion is also able to meet the latest manufacturing trends of the food industry. Sharon, can you tell me in, in a little more detail what some of these manufacturing requirements and trends are, and how specifically your equipment addresses these trends? Well, Joyce, today's food manufacturers are focusing on a number of key design features, which include sanitary equipment design, modularity, and smaller equipment footprints, which allow for quick product changeover and smarter controls or designs, which also address food safety. Coperion's extensive food product line has evolved to include a number of design features which address many of these concerns. For example, our hygienic line of rotary and diverter valves include design options which not only address FSMA, but also include options for complete accessibility as well as wet and dry cleaning. In addition, our line of continuous and batch ingredient systems include options for quick changeover, which is critical when changing formulations and ingredients. How are those quick changeover cleaning designs um, changing? Well, Joyce, the ability to provide options for a variety of cleaning methods is important when addressing very specific product needs. For example, a system which is just a simple conveying flour or sugar may be very different from that that's handling allergens, which as a design requirement is very special such as like varied nut products, for example. It's important to work with the supplier whose systems engineers can point out the design differences in both and the options that are available. The ability to engineer and provide either a wet cleaning or a dry cleaning product convey system, which permits quick and safe product changeover, allows Coperion to address a wide variety of applications. This is also true in the food extruders that Coperion supplies for a variety of applications in the food industry. Everything from pet food to snacks to confectionery to even texturized protein or meat analogs. Several options in extruder and pelletizer designs address cleanability. In addition, specialized artificial intelligence options in the control systems, or what's known as Controls 4.0, exist which allow the end user to monitor a variety of process conditions in both the ingredient delivery and the extruder systems and let the operator see and alarm any deviations from the norm. This helps to avoid any product variations or systems such as extruder screw or barrel wear as well as address process safety concerns. Coperion provides options for specialized remote access control boxes which allow service personnel to not only detect issues in the process but also to help end users minimize the maintenance costs through remote servicing. So Sharon, you had mentioned earlier Food Safety and the Food Safety Modernization Act. What additional features has Coperion engineered into its equipment and systems designs to address food safety? 
In addition to some of the items that I just talked about, specifically like the Industry 4.0 options, the design engineers of Coperion are constantly innovating the equipment options to address food safety concerns. For example, our newest feature on the rotary valves, which is RotorCheck 5.0, is an ideal technology to register, evaluate, and report unwanted contact between the rotor and housing in order to prevent metallic abrasion, and thus potential contamination of the product being conveyed or transferred. The redeveloped control system provides advanced options for event diagnosis and communication to a variety of host systems. <laughs> Another transition in food manufacturing, which not only affects food safety, but also process efficiency, is the transition from batch to continuous operations. Many batch or manual operations have benefited considerably in the conversion to a more automated continuous process. The ability to produce via continuous methods can not only cut your costs in manufacture, but also greatly improve overall product quality and subsequent food safety. Coperion's line of continuous conveying, feeding, and extrusion systems are all specifically designed to deliver product accurately to the final continuous process steps. Another issue which is constantly changing in the food industry is the use of newer and less traditional food ingredients or seasonings. How do the food designs of Coperion's material handling and feeding equipment address these materials, and more importantly, how do you verify the equipment's performance with these products? Well, Joyce, one of the key benefits of the complete line of Coperion feeding and material handling equipment has always been the ability to handle difficult flowing materials such as sticky or cohesive powders and blends, which are used quite a bit in the food industry. In addition to innovative feeder options such as the Active Flow, which specifically addresses and enhances continuous flow in a loss and weight feeder, we have also a variety of system component options which are designed to address poor flowing products. Another example of this is the SGF surface treatment option for our rotary valves, which prevents sticking and glazing of difficult ingredients like lactose, for example. Most importantly, Coperin has several global testing centers which focus on the areas of development and testing of feeding, conveying, and extrusion of a wide variety of even the most difficult ingredients and materials. It is this ability to not only extensively test a variety of material characteristics and properties, but to also discuss technical design options for optimal process quality and safety, which have caused Coperion and Coperion Catron to truly stand out as a premium food equipment and system supplier. Well, Sharon, thanks for joining us today for this edition of Technology Minute from Pro Food World.